What's good, everyone? This is Raw Truth Media, giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Please like and share this video throughout all social media platforms. So I've been waiting to talk about this video because the buffoonery I've been seeing from non-HBCU fans, let's be honest, Colorado fans, saying, hey, Jackson State wasn't that nice with Dion when he loved. They didn't show him love when he loved. They didn't celebrate him when he loved. And again, I'm really not trying to bring up Dion, but they're the ones bringing it up, and they're the ones trying to compare Tamika Reed leaving to Dion and saying, wait, they're giving her love, but not Dion. But let's put the facts. And I had to make this video because Colorado fans, y'all know it's not the same. Let's be real now. This is not a hate on Dion Sanders video, but when I see buffoonery, I got to call it out. This is not the same situation. Tamika Reed has been there, meaning Jackson State, since 2018. Tamika Reed did not make any promises. And I know Dion's not going to admit this. And I don't really blame him. Maybe he was in the moment in the first press conference and was feeling the spirit and, and, and excited about having his first coaching job. But when you overpromise, you're going to let people down. Tamika Reed never overpromised. Tamika Reed never said, she was going to be at JSU for life. She never said that God called her to go to JSU. None of that stuff. Pulling the heartstrings of fans. Tamika Reed got it out the mud. She was hired in 2018. And there wasn't a transfer portal. And there wasn't an IL. That came on, what, 2020? So she's been there for six years. And she left on good terms. For those who don't know, Tamika Reed has accomplished a lot in the six years at Jackson State. You're talking about six straight SWAC semifinal games. Also, five regular season SWAC title games. On top of that, three NCAA tournament appearances. Tamika Reed is never afraid to play against top-ranked FBS teams. She'll play against the LSU, UConn, South Carolina, UCLA. It does not matter. She will play anybody. And that's why her players were always battle-tested. And that's why she produced two draft picks. Recently, Angel Jackson, and she got drafted by Las Vegas. This is what this incredible coach accomplished. Again, I'm really not trying to compare Prime with Tamika, but I'm just, I have to. <laughs> when you go on social media and you, I see a lot of grifting and complaining about, wow, they didn't show the same love to Dion. Well, you got to use your common sense. Did Dion really leave in the best way in a PR perspective? Really? If you're a Colorado fan, tell me if Dion left in the right way. Because he could have handled it better. If I was Dion, I would I'm telling you, if I was Dion, I would have said this in the press conference. First and foremost, I want to thank Jackson State for allowing me to become a head coach. If it wasn't for Jackson State and HBCUs, I wouldn't be here in Boulder, Colorado. They've instilled everything possible for me to become a great head coach. And I owe my life to them. From the fans to the alumni, I thank you. And you guys will truly be in my hearts forever. Something like that. It doesn't have to be my words, but something like that. I guarantee you, if Dion would have said that, there wouldn't be a problem. Even if people disagreed, it would not be a problem. But when you throw shots at a city, it's not going to go well. Again, I don't have a personal problem with Dion. 
But we have to be honest at the situation. Tamika Reed has left with class. She has not said anything bad about Jackson because she's from Jackson, Mississippi. She has roots in that city. And she left from six years in coaching. There's not too many great coaches in the modern day of HBCUs that stay in that long when they're that successful. She stayed longer than most coaches. So that's why she gets love. But I want to show you the clip that Tamika Reed said to explain everything I talked about because she deserves her flowers. And Jackson State University Athletics Director Ashley Robinson. I want to thank him for his support and for allowing me to win many, many championships at Jackson State University. I am forever grateful for my HBCU family and experiences. To all of my former players and fans, you will always hold a special place in my heart. Over the years, I have kept my head down. I have worked hard. I have burned both ends of the candle. I have waited patiently for an opportunity like this. I always wanted a jersey with my name on the back.